What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Joe Easy. Welcome to another edition of Joe Easy Delivers. My name is Tavares. Welcome back, many viewers. Welcome to the channel. Okay, today is Saturday, December 20. No, 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 not December 30th. The one day before New Year's Eve. And what we're gonna do, as you can tell, it is nighttime. It's not even morning time. It's nighttime. What we're gonna do is I got a schedule on GoPuff. 8 p.m. to 11. And then I was gonna cancel it, and then it said, "Oh, you, if you cancel it, it's gonna be bad on your record or whatever." So you know what I mean? I cancel. Let me do it anyway. Plus, I want to do this YouTube video. So this is what we're gonna do. It is go puff, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. And it is, it, I've done go puff already, where I just go there and I go online, and then you hope for an order. This time, you're gonna get paid 20 cents per minute. So if you do 20 cents times 60 minutes in, you know, in an hour, that's, if you don't do anything, that's $12 an hour. So you're gonna get paid 12 or $12 an hour, I guess, technically, by just waiting for orders. And then once you get an order, then you do it. I'm just gonna take every single order, whether it's, uh, because GoPuff, if you guys haven't done GoPuff before, GoPuff, you don't see the tips until the end, like right after, it's not even like ship. So if there's a tip, you're not gonna see it until right after you complete the delivery. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna accept every single order for three hours, 8 to 11 p.m., and then see what happens, see how we can do this, you know, thingy majiggy. I have never seen a scheduled thing where you're getting weighed, you know, uh, pay weight or whatever, weight pay is what they call it. This is the first time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to my car and I'm gonna tell you guys what the weight pay even means because there's an explanation. But I have never seen it before. It's always like, oh, all hours taken. This is the first time in my life in that I've seen a GoPuff schedule actually open because it's two days before New Year's New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, the 31st. There is schedules throughout the whole day, but I don't want to take that just yet. I just want to test it out today just to see what happens, guys. So we're gonna try this out together, me and you both. So I've never had this happen before. We're gonna see what happens with that weight pay or whatever. So with that being said. Don't forget to smash that like button, bro, for the YouTube world. And if you like the video at the end, if you want to switch your videos, me doing delivery, just subscribe to my people. As you can tell, I have a, a sweater on. It is 62 degrees for Miami standards. That's pretty cold, guys. So, with that being said, let's get the house started. Let's go. So, if you click it on the how pay is calculated, and then you go on the weight pay. The weight pay is this. During the schedule block, you'll accrue weight pay anytime you're online at the location without an assigned order. So, we have to be... Uh, we measure wait time in minutes. So we have to be actually in the location to get started getting paid. So once we complete an order, we won't get paid until we get to the, when we go back to the place, which it kind of sucks, but it is what it is with that one. You'll stop accruing weight pay when you're assigned on an order, when you leave the facility, or when you end your work day. You'll start accruing weight pay once you return to the facility after completing the order. So after completing the order, you have to go to the facility and then you accrue weight pay, which, man, these guys, man. But it is what it is with that. Schedule minutes weighted at facility times pay rate equals weight pay. So let's go to the, it's a, there's a, there's a, there's a GoPro, GoPro store. No, GoPro. GoPuff store there by, by like Sweetwater, you know, in the Miami area, like around Doral kind of. Sweetwater, Doral-ish, if you guys are from Miami. So I'm going to go there right now. 8 to 11 see how much we can get paid let's go all right guys so i made it here this is the place and it's actually kind of empty it is very very empty i don't even see anyone here waiting for orders oh i'm gonna show you guys it says zero to two people waiting so this this guy actually you know what that guy is in the red car is probably waiting and the gopa facility is right here to my right No, I'm gonna park literally right next to the store, right here. This is it, Go Puff. And I'm gonna tell you guys what it so what it shows on the on the app. All right, so here on the app it says zero to two people waiting, estimated time two to four minutes. What I'm gonna do is 7:14. I'm just gonna clock in, cause I could clock in like accept orders like without having to accept it, like without the schedule block until 8 p.m. and at 8 p.m. I clock in for like the wait time. But if I clock in now, I think I could, no, I know that I could decline without without getting penalt but without getting penalized. So that's what I'm gonna do. So, you know, so I'm not here wasting time and then maybe I could get a good order, you know? So it is the fire, the fire right there, Miami, Florida. Zero to two people waiting two to four minute wait. 
And then that is pretty much it. Gold Puff is located and has instructions. That's pretty much it. Normally the fire is there when there's when it's a little bit busy. We'll see what happens. Let me clock in and see what happens. Let's go. Okay, okay, last thing I think. I think last thing, I promise. I forgot to show you guys where it says here variable var there's variable base pay and then another one. This ver this location has variable base pay, which means distance time and the total effort required to complete a trip determines variable base pay. T distance time and the total effort required. This variable this varies by trip and is shown in the trip preview. So let's clock in, see if we could you know, see if we can get, get any orders that we could decline. And then at eight o'clock, we can decline because we're gonna be on schedule with the weight pay. All right, let's go. All right, so I'm already here. So I could do go online already. Like right here, look, I'm gonna show you guys the schedule. I'm on a schedule here. And that I showed you in the beginning of the video. So if I go to schedule, it's right here. And look at the available schedules for tomorrow. I've never, well, there was a 10 a.m. to three. That was not a bad one, but I didn't, I didn't want to do 10 to 3. Tomorrow, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm thinking about now. Well, I'm thinking I want to do something that's not like Uber Eats. I remember last year on New Year's Eve, Uber Eats, I got like $300 and it was like banger after banger after banger. So I'm like, ah, let me do Uber Eats. So there's this and this thing is kind of twisted. No, it's, it's fine. Okay, it's the GoPro is kind of weird. So we have 6 to 12, 7 to 12, 8 to, to 1. You know, that's New Year's Eve. And the weight pay is 20 cents per minute. But uh, but let's, right now it's 20 cents per minute. And it's at 8 p.m. And it's still 7, 7 17. So I click go online and it says reg regulated product products, process. Verify customer ID matches the recipient. Not visibly intoxicated. Scan ID. Collect signature. They have to sign too. I forgot about this GoPuff. They have to sign. And then complete drop off. And that's it. GoPuff will be checking compliance with this process. All right. I'll go Puff. Oh my goodness. All right. So I was online for like... Ah, maybe what well, at 719 I think it's 723 like five minutes or something and I didn't get any orders and then a guy just parked here he got an order he went inside you know he left with a bag I guess with the order and then he left so I'm guessing that I mean which is most most likely that's what it is they're prioritizing people with that's on schedule because they don't have so they don't have to pay them a wait time fee for me they're not paying me anything so they're not gonna give me an order so I might not get any orders until and it says the wait time is zero to two minutes. You guys saw it. So I don't think I'm gonna get any orders until I get on schedule, which is fine because I'm watching uh, a, whatchamacallit, suits here on uh, while I'm waiting for orders on my little tray. Look, check this out. It's a prototype. I needed to do this to, to get approved by Amazon, but look, the Joe Easy. I'm not gonna do it on all the trays yet because I need to get a sticker this size, but that's pretty cool, right? All right, let's, let's, uh, let's wait for this. All right, so for sure, for sure, they're not giving me orders because I, okay, so when I came in here the, for the first time, there was a guy that he had left and he left, I guess, and then whatever. That was when I first got here at 9, 9, 7, 19, right? And it's 7, 44, half an hour later, and then that same guy comes here, comes back, he gets another order and leaves. So a guy, he got an order when I got here. Goes to do his order, comes back, another one, and that is it. All this time, and I'm here with no orders, not even an offer. So they're not giving me any orders. I'm going to have to wait until 8 o'clock till I get onto the schedule of the waiting time or whatever. But whatever. It is what it is, man. I mean, GoPuff is just trying to not have to pay their people. So now I know for a fact, guys. Now you guys know. If you guys are watching this video because it's the first time you do GoPuff and you want to know how it works... If you're not on schedule, don't even bother coming here unless it's like super busy or I don't know. But even then, don't even come here unless you're on schedule because they're not going to give you any orders. No orders. So, FYI. All right, so it is 7.59. So in one minute, we are going to clock out and then clock in on the schedule. Hopefully get paid 20, minutes per, 20 cents per minute. But I just saw a guy, he went in with two phones and it's like, bro, there's no app like safe from bots every single app has bots every app that's wild man but we're gonna clock in now 7 59 p.m in one minute we'll clock in and then i'm gonna clock in the miles how many miles we get so i can see how many how much dollar per mile we could get with whatever we earn so we'll do that and the thing with these apps with this at least not with like not instagram but the thing with these type of apps is that it's like uber where you don't so it's not really a bot it's just 
they have rented accounts. They rent the account from somebody and imagine. Because you have to get the offers. It's not like a bot could take the order. You know, it has to, you have to get it offered first. But it's crazy because if you have two phones waiting and you're on schedule on two different phones, you're basically getting paid twice. So you're getting paid 20 cents per, per app. And it's like, uh, so that's $24 an hour. People are, are waiting. But the app, like if they get an order from one phone and they're on the other phone, like, can you go off, can you go offline on the other phone? How does that work? I would like to know. I don't know. Maybe they're not that strict and you could just do that. You could be on wait, you could be on wait and we haven't gotten an order yet. We got, I, I saw two people get an order. It's 8.05 PM. I haven't gotten an order. So, uh, so it, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, like when you have two app or two, two phones at the same time, two GoPuff accounts, you know, can they kick you off if you go offline, if you're on schedule? Because you're just supposed to be on schedule. I tried to drop my schedule today, and then it said, oh, if you drop it, it'll neg negatively impact or whatever. So I, I don't know. I have to see how that works, but whatever. We'll just keep waiting, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, so I'm here, and it says three to five people waiting, 15 to 21 minute wait. And I'm like, dang, I'm really going to get paid to do nothing just to watch Suits? And there was a, another guy just came in for another order. So I'm not getting offers. Don't tell me that this thing is just like, it's just like, uh, because there's bots that you could go into. Man, I don't know, man. I don't want to start talking about conspiracy theories, but the question is, why am I not getting offers? If people are coming, leaving and coming back, and I'm here, and I'm getting paid the wait time, according to this thing, I don't know. Or maybe, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know how it works. We'll just keep waiting. All right, so this thing scheduled hours. It's at zero. The unscheduled hours is at 0.70. This scheduled hour better go up. If it doesn't go up, I'm going to get really, really mad. I'm going to get really mad. The scheduled hour is supposed to be what I get paid. And I try to find out how to, if I, there's a different way to clock in or not, like while you're on schedule and, and no, I, this is the only way you just clock in and that's it. So we'll see. All right, guys, it's, uh, it's been half an hour, it's 830. I haven't gotten any offers yet, but there was a guy that got in the, uh, I don't know. He went inside with the, with his kids. He had a daughter and a, and a, and a son. He went inside and he was there for like an hour and he came out with an order and then, He's going to deliver it now. And I'm thinking, is this guy doing GoPuff? Like, is he an independent contractor? And he's just he just went inside to hang out with the employees? Because I seem like a lot of people, it seems like a lot of people here are are like buddy buddies. They come in here and talk to each other. So I'm thinking, did he just go inside and with his kids? You know, his, his daughter had like an iPad. And I'm like, yo, they went in there, you know, I guess waiting for orders? And now he, he just got an order and they're leaving now. But it's like... And the whole family thing, I don't really care. If you go with your family, with kids. I've seen that in Instacart all the time. But it's like... He just went in there and then with his kids for a while. Like, man, his kids must be like, man, I want to go home. Or I don't know. I don't know. But uh, but whatever. With that being said... And his kids, I'm saying like... I think like maybe 13 years old. Like high school. So not even babies. You know, it's not like, you know, they're a baby and they don't have a babysitter. No, they're like teenagers. They could take care of themselves. Uh, but whatever. It's all right. Uh, we're here waiting. We're going to get paid six, $6, you know, for doing nothing, watching suits. So it's all right. All right. It's 830. We finally got something. Half an hour later. So it's so we got paid $6 to do nothing, if you think about it. So it's uh, $6.80 for 13 miles. And if there's no tip, that's it. But whatever. Let's uh let's get it. Alright, let's uh see how this works. Hello. Hey, the IGX been one zero two. Yeah, the AIGX and that one. The first one? Oh, okay. Oh, it's the pin one. Pin one. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Scan the, the code. And then when you get there, you scan the code again. Scan it again. Okay.
Thank you so much. Have a good one. All right, we got the order. Oh, that guy actually works for the place. Okay. All right, so we, so we got it right here. Let's go. It's just two things. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be tipped, to be honest. It's like two little things. Uh, I don't know, guys. I doubt they'll, they'll be tipped. Okay, so I have to scan this before I drop it off. So scan this first. Uh, what's the thing? Order details. Okay, so it's this one right here. There's some ice cream. All right, it's scanned. And then the note say just to leave it in the door. Okay, so I put complete drop off, but it didn't it didn't tell me to take a picture. So I'm not sure. It didn't tell me to take a picture. So now I'm scared that they might report that it was never delivered. Snap. Uh, I put start or complete drop off, I thought, because I saw all the apps do it. But the note say to leave it in the front door. That's fine. Let's go. Alright, so I forgot to to reset my uh the mileage meter. I just reset it and now we drove like like two miles that's it but we're driving now to the second destination which is eight miles away i'm here in the doral area and there's uh christmas lights on this thing i did not know i haven't been i haven't been on here in doral in a long time but that's pretty cool christmas lights there's christmas lights in the city at least here in doral nowhere else there's there's no christmas lights anywhere else all right, so we gotta scan the second bag here. All right, okay, now it doesn't say anything about leaving it at the door or nothing. I'm just gonna knock. Oh, look, there's a scooter here, probably a delivery driver, a, a colleague of ours, our coworker. Hey, how you doing? Have a good night. All right, you can't get my initial reaction right now to how much the pay was because I can't see it right now. I think, it, I think you have to wait or something, I don't know. But we're done with the order and we have to drive 5.6 miles of no pay. So, I mean, we have to go back, no pay, 5.6 miles. Let me see, let me see if I can see how much the, if, if it paid. All right, so I guess I, I, I'm, I'm looking at the earnings, it says zero tips. And I don't think it, I think from when I did it last time, it was like that. Like you see that if there is a tip, you'll see it right away. Like maybe, a, yeah, you'll see it right away. So both customers, no tip. Both customers. 13 mile drive. Well, well, I don't know. It says it said 13, but right now I'm at eight miles. So I drove eight miles. Let's say I drove another two miles to customer, the first customer. So it was really 10 miles. And I have to drive five miles back for five dollars or six dollars and eighty cents. Alright, we are back. 13 miles we have driven since you know the start of this thing. It is 9.22, so be another 9.30, 10.30, another hour and a half. Well, so far it has not been worth it. It has not been worth it. All right, continue waiting. And it says here zero to two people waiting, eight to 29 minutes estimated wait, but it does have the little fire next to it. So, so the schedule hours is still at zero. I think that point seventy was when I clocked out. So I think the hours will update once I clock out here. So base pay, $6.80. Oh my goodness. Look at this. There's no personal info, right? No. $6.80. That's it. Base pay for two trips. 13 miles. Or I think it was less than 13. But yeah. It is what it is. So the fire is officially out of here. The, the fire is gone, but it's still 8 to 29 minute wait. So I might get another $6 for waiting. So I don't know. Maybe in the end it might be worth it, I guess. There's nobody here, by the way. Here, like, there's nobody. There's nobody here. That's the, the warehouse. It says 0 to 2 people waiting. I don't think. Yeah, I think. Or maybe the red car. The red car over there, maybe. That we saw before. But yeah. So... All right, guys, we got another order, another six dollars for nine miles, two customers. It looks like, it's like some just like the last order, two small orders. So I don't know if it's going to be a tip on this one either. So whatever. Let's go get it, guys. It is 9.32 p.m. Hey, what's the other one? There should be another one, but I just don't know where's that. What, bro? There's another bag. I just don't know where is that. I have to look for it. 
All right, so are these are these different customers? Let me see. No, this first one is one customer, so it's actually a pretty decently big order. Okay, so I guess I changed my mind. I'm sorry. Yeah. And then I have another one too. Yeah, let me see. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Oh, I had it said like two deliveries or something. Yeah, it's two deliveries. That is only one. Just one order? Yeah, that, this one is only one. Why don't you scan the 737, I think. And uh, the one that I gave you? Yeah. It's only one mark. Oh, that's it's the, okay, one. okay, what perfect. What you need to do is this, you know? When you start, you see there is one component. And when you put all the details, Oh, you can see everything here. One component means that one buck. Hey, quick question. Um, okay. On the last delivery, the person said just to leave it at the door, but it didn't make me take a picture. So the, the customer could just say that it was never delivered. Uh, don't worry. Don't worry about it? If they say leave a door, leave a door. Okay. Without the picture or anything? No. All right, guys. I don't, I don't know how I'm going to rec you know, record the whole conversation, but uh, they told me not to. That, that guy's cool, man. He's a cool dude. I, I, it, it explains why everyone li likes talking to the guy. Uh, but he said, "Don't ever, don't ever scan your own ID." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, I never really like, I never scanned my own ID. I've always been kind of scared. You guys already know I'm scared with this stuff. I don't like to mess around with it." Say, "Nah, don't do it. Go Puff. Like they'll they'll ban you quick." And he was telling me other things about how Go Puff is more strict. Like the whole leave at door. I right, so he said with the leave at door, if there's no picture, then then don't worry about it. Like, it, cause I was like, oh, I'm afraid that you know they might mark never delivered or whatever. He's like, nah, nah, don't worry about GoPro. It's not like Uber, you know. Uber is a different thing. Like, but this one, like, like there's so I'm like, oh, so it's strict. He's like, yeah, yeah. So it's different, I guess. It's more. So maybe there is no bots, and I'm just. I just saw a guy with two phones though. Maybe it's two accounts, but maybe like maybe there are like two accounts, but it's not like how I was saying that you they only accept like big orders I don't know because Amazon well Amazon is a huge that's the thing Amazon's a huge company so they can't they can't crack down on everything GoPuff is smaller so they're more like like they have more time to crack down on whatever happens I don't know man but whatever let's just do this order and then see what happens but yeah guys he told me do not scan your own ID they will ban you I'm like alright so I, I'm, I'm sure other people have gotten banned for, for doing it so I gotta be careful, you know. And he says that it does happen. I was like, "Oh, does it happen? I never usually deliver at this time." Like, does it? he's like, "Yeah, yeah, it happens." Or like, they'll tell, or the customer will tell you, "Oh, I don't have an ID," or the ID they'll give you an ID and it won't work. It's like, "Oh, if it doesn't, not even if they give you an ID and it doesn't work, don't do it. Don't scan your own ID." I'm like, "All right, all right, cool." I think the first one is the first one's this one right here. Let me scan it real quick. The alcohol is the other one. So I'm gonna have to be careful with that. I hope they gave me the right building because last time, this is by FIU, where I used to go to, it was like the dorms. And last time they gave me this this building address, but it was on the other side. So I gotta be careful. Hopefully, I mean, it was, it was a one-time deal, maybe. Oh, and here, I can't just open the door. Is there any notes? No notes. Oh, what a coincidence. No notes and this thing is locked and I, I don't have no way to call the guy. Amazing, I love it. Hey, now I gotta call the dude, bro. When you order delivery, man, like, are you for real? You're not gonna put any code or nothing. Hello? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Lucky there was someone here, so we're good. But I'm telling you, like, there's no code, like nothing. It happens a lot with college, with college kids. Yeah, it's fine, it's college kids, maybe. Oh, I can't even, I need the, I need a key to open this, so I forgot about that. Hi, yeah, this is your GoPuff order. I'm here, I'm inside, but the elevator doesn't let me go up. I guess I need a key. Oh, okay, thank you. Have a good day. You too, how's it going? Hey. How are you? Doing very well, thank you so much. No, no problem at all. here to scan as well. Oh, perfect. You need the back side. Let me see if I need the back. Uh, yeah, the back. The back? Okay. Yeah, sure. please. And then signature. Here. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, not I a really problem at all. Have, have a great night. You too. Have a good night. Man, the guy was super nice. He's like, "Oh, thank you so much," or "Thank you for your help." And I was like, "Man, I mean, it happens, but very rarely nowadays." That guy was super, super nice. And lo and behold, the guy tipped five bucks. 
you know, he appreciates it. And, and I appreciate him. I appreciate you, customer. So we're at 23 miles right now. We have to drive five miles back to the place. And it's 10.06 p.m. We're going to stay until 11. After that, I'm going to drive home. I'm going to turn on all the other apps and see if I can get some money somewhere else. I don't know. All right, we are back in the saddle in the paradise with 28 miles and it is 10 15 45 more minutes i don't like this strategy guys i'm not even gonna lie but we will see maybe it's good for like these late night runs who knows but let's uh let's chill right here uh, it's a little bit far but it's all right no no you know what let's not get b behind this guy because he's probably like bro why is this guy parking behind me i wouldn't want that either so let's park somewhere else oh uh, okay guys so i actually take back some things i have 11 dollars and 99 cents in tips but how the first trip somebody tipped <gasps> oh both customers tipped on these on these orders oh my goodness wow wow man this is crazy i i feel i feel like taking a shower i feel so nasty and dirty here talking smack oh man and then here wait wait what wait wait whoa whoa five dollar tip five dollar tip on this one okay so this one tip 45 but they could tip after because these two was at zero at first this was at zero at first and then they tip three each and then this one is one of them is five the other one's nothing oh man so if this is if this is common then it may be worth it and look we still don't have the hours for uh for waiting time so that's 24 plus whatever waiting time so this end up this may end up being an amazing three hour shift <laughs> oh my goodness man okay all right Okay, so I didn't I didn't show you guys. Sorry, when I get when I got back here, my uh Miami. Okay, three to five people waiting, twenty four to twenty six minute wait. So it's ten thirty. So if we could wait until another half an hour with no orders, or with one more order, if I could get an order at ten fifty or ten fifty five, that'll be perfecto. All right, let's go. All right, guys, we accepted our last order. Seven dollars for two deliveries, sixteen miles. It's not going downtown or anything, so it's going up in Doral. That's a lot of miles, but let's go get it. So one contains alcohol, one of the orders. Bin one, bin two. Two. Uh, so right here. Easy. So this one is the first one. I gotta pick up two more things. Is it water? Bin one, bin two. I'll be back. I can't find the other two bags. I'll come back for it. Let me just put this in the car real quick. All right, so the other stuff wasn't in the bins. So where do I gotta go? It doesn't say anything about bins or whatever. Is it here? Oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, sometimes they don't fit up there. I just put them, put them here. Oh, perfect. You can use that car if you want. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Oh, we gotta get the car right here. This is cool, guys. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about doing this versus uh, Instacart where you're shopping for your own orders? I know Do DoorDash is doing the same thing with the Dash Mart. Uh, you know, they DoorDash does the, the shopping and we do the deliveries. That's it. So it's two cases of water, guys. Two cases of water. All right, so these are the two orders. This stuff. And then that's it. And then the, on the left is the other one. Let's deliver. Let's go. All right. So this is the small order, right? Yeah. So this one doesn't require an ID. Hey, how 
How you doing? Good night. You too. All right, my people. The handy dandy wagon makes an appearance for the first time in a while. I haven't used this handy dandy in a long time, guys. But let's go get it. We got to take it up to a penthouse floor. So let's do it. Do you need a key to go upstairs so uh -huh. I could call? Do you need a key to go upstairs? Yeah. yeah I'll, I'll call here. I'm calling here. Gracias. All right, so they're good. So now I have like a few seconds to go up, I guess. Uh, where's the elevator? I have like a few minutes. So right here. All right, I think it's like a few seconds. Ah, the last time I came to this building, I don't know if it worked. And we'll see. Okay, so it worked perfect. All right, it worked, it worked, guys. Oh. So we got our little thing right here. We're gonna finish the order and then I will get with you guys on the final numbers because it's already 11 o'clock. It's 11.09 p.m. Ah, perfect. Okay, Timaki, please. Yo, the guy gave me the 20. Oh my god. I think he was surprised that I had a, a wagon. He's like, oh man, this guy came prepared. He's like, oh, he came prepared. I was like, I don't know. I, he probably had like a, or maybe he didn't have a tip, or if he did, he had like a smaller tip. And he's like, yo, this guy came prepared. Hold up, give me a second. He left for a second, and I don't know if he increased it. I don't know, but he was, he was surprised that I had the wagon like nice and prepared. Man, I love it. Boy. So, oh, wait, 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 I didn't, I didn't even show you. Right here, baby, a 20 smack reward. Look, I promise I didn't just take this out of nowhere. I don't carry cash. So, I'm not lying, I promise. All right, with that being said, I'll give with you guys on the final numbers. But hold on, let me, let me tell you guys how many miles we have driven so far. Thank you, customer, bro. Yes. Yes. All right, my people, we are at 44.9 miles. Let's just round it up. 45 miles. I will give the guys on the final numbers with this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been to the this video, thank you for watching. All right, this is how much we made for the day or for the, the ship. We made. $59.61. We got the weight pay, guys, of $11.40. So we ended up getting it. It took uh, maybe an hour or two, but we ended up getting it. And then, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. $59, and then we got the $20 cash tip for a total of $79.61. If you, and we worked, we did 45 miles. So if you do 79 divided by 45, that is one dollar and 75 cents per mile that is not two dollars per mile but hey i will take it and then if you divide the hourly rate 79 divided by three that is 26 dollars per hour you know so the 20 dollars helped a lot guys 20 dollar cash tip now let me let me know if you guys would do this with this type of this type of shift i mean we got paid to wait but we drove a lot of miles guys a lot of miles for three hours i've never driven that many miles for three hours before i don't think so so with that being said, if you made it to the end of this journey, though, my lovely humans, thank you for watching. And also, Happy New Year. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, before I say that. Don't forget to smash that like button to help blow up the YouTube world. And if you like this video and you want to watch future videos of me doing delivery, just subscribe on my people. My people, Happy New Year. I hope you guys had a fantastic New Year. I didn't do anything. I just saw the ball drop, went to sleep. That is it, guys, because it's game time. It's not time to play around or to be celebrating. The, the, my goal for 2024, in case you guys care, is to, and I'm going to tell you guys on the next video, but to make more money between YouTube and deliveries every week. So try to push myself now. I do. I've been doing like, oh, I make $100 and go home. No, no, no. I want to push myself now, make more money for the week. But between both deliveries and YouTube, do some, and I'll give you guys a strategy on the next video. So stay tuned. And... The Giga app, continue continue pushing the Giga app, continue making it better. Uh, I gotta make it look better too. I gotta make it, I gotta beautify. It's just that I'm not, I don't have like, I'm not a good graphic designer. So I have to, you know, make it look better. Continue the trade business or, you know, I just started it. So continue that and pretty much do some challenges that I haven't done before. Grow the YouTube channel pretty much, obviously, and just continue it. 
continue that. And that is my goal for 2024. I hope you guys have some amazing goals that you could look forward to. You need goals that you could look forward to that you have to continue working on. Like if you want to become in a, if you want to be in a certain spot in a year from now, that goal should be working on that every day or as much as you can, guys. Keep working on it. Keep working on it. Enjoy the process. Because if you hate the process, you're not going to want to do it for more than a month. You're going to want to quit after January. But if you enjoy the process, you'll continue doing it every day, every month. The whole year, you're going to continue doing it. Consistency is key, guys. Now, with that being said, Happy New Year. I love you guys. Thank you guys for all the support. Uh, we are at 5,000. We made it to 5,000 subscribers before year end. We just made it before year end. Hopefully, by the end of next year, we could have another 5,000. It is possible. People have had 10,000 subscribers in one year. So, why can't I have, be at 10 in another year from now? We'll see what happens. But if I want to do that, I'm going to have to keep pushing videos, keep doing more challenges. And now with that being said, if you made it to the end, like I said. Oh, wait. Yeah, I already said that. Uh, don't forget to smash that like. Okay, okay. Have a good day. Have a good year. Have a good career. Stay hustling out there. Love yourself. Believe each other. Your boy, Joey. Let's go.